Omarosa Manigault Newman, one of U.S. President Donald Trump's most vocal black supporters, is to quit. A White House spokeswoman said Ms. Manigault Newman was quitting the Office of Public Liaison to pursue other opportunities. We wish her the best in future endeavors, said Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. MRS Manigault Newman was often referred to by viewers as the villain on Mr. Trump's reality TV show The Apprentice. Mrs. Sanders added that Mrs. Manigault Newman would depart on 20 January, one year after Mr. Trump took office. She was fired by White House Chief of Staff John Kelly and escorted out of the building after a vulgar tirade, according to White House correspondent April Ryan. Critics said Mrs. Manigault Newman's role at the White House was vague and ill-defined, and that she seemed to spend more time planning her wedding than organizing outreach. During her tenure, she attracted controversy when she brought a 39-person wedding party to the White House for an impromptu photo shoot, according to Politico. She brings friends to the White House Mess, a West Wing restaurant run by the U.S. Navy, and she likes to show visitors around the building. Warm and engaging, she's also slightly unprofessional. She brought members of her bridal party to the White House for a photo shoot. Besides that she makes apprentice jokes at White House events and sometimes leaves early, when the events are boring. However you feel about her, one thing is true. The place won't be the same without her. That may be the point. Chief of Staff John Kelly has been moving controversial figures out, trying to make the White House seem more staid. Since he started, Steve Bannon, Sebastian Corker, and Anthony Scaramucci have all left. Some former advisors, such as James Schultz, who served as a special assistant, say rumors of house cleaning are untrue. Schultz, who worked down the hall from Omarosa, says she just wants to return to the private sector. Chances are you'll be hearing from her long after she's left the White House. Over the summer, she caused uproar at an event for black journalists when she paced on stage while arguing with the panel's moderator and refused to discuss her boss, President Trump. In a 2004 interview with Playboy, Mr. Trump described her as a liar. He said he would not offer her a job reference, except if she was appearing on a soap opera. But following his election to the White House, he appointed her to the Office of Public Liaison earning a reported $179,700, $134,000, a year. This was not her first time working for a presidential administration. After graduating from Washington, D.C.'s historically black Howard University, she worked for Vice President Al Gore before joining President Bill Clinton's personnel office, then the U.S. Commerce Department.
she wrote the 2008 book of Bitch Switch, which was billed as a step-by-step -step guide for locating your inner bitch, personalizing your switch, and knowing when to turn it on, and when to turn it off. In her book, Mrs. Manigault Newman described her government supervisor as someone who constantly sabotaged her efforts. But a former Clinton official told People magazine Mrs. Manigault Newman was asked to leave as quickly as possible and one member of staff wanted to slug her.